Hi, everybody, and welcome to Theater Thursdays with Children's Theater of Madison. My name is Megwin Sanders Andrews. I'm the Access for All Coordinator at CTM, and today we're going to work with bringing a story to life with shadow puppets. And our story has a problem that we are going to have to solve. So the materials you'll need include a box, some paper, uh, both a light sort of paper like typing paper and a heavier paper like construction paper, a writing utensil, a light source. You can see I have a lantern, but it can also just be a window, scissors, tape, some kind of stick. That's optional, but sometimes people like to use sticks to move their puppets. So you see I have some bamboo skewers here, or you could use something like popsicle sticks or straws and your favorite storybook. We are working with Big Bad Bunny by Melanie Joyce and Maurizia Rubino because it is one of my very favorite storybooks. So the first thing we have to do is make our shadow box. The first step is to cut a rectangle in the side of your box. This will be your stage area. Step two is to remove the opposite side of the box because this is where you'll use your puppets. Step three is to cover your stage area rectangle with a light paper, like typing paper. You can also make some scenery if you want. Uh, my story is set in a cherry blossom forest, so I made some trees to go along the edges of my stage space. Now you can make your shadow puppets. The way I did it was to trace the characters from my book and then cut them out of black construction paper. But there's lots of ways to make puppets. You can even do something as simple as use your hand. The idea is to put something dark up against the white paper, between the paper and the light, so that it makes a shadow. Okay, here's my shadow play of Big Bad Bunny. In Cherry Blossom Forest, where the fruit trees stood, the animals lived quietly in their leafy neighborhood. Life was simply perfect, and things were always the same. Until one day, a stranger arrived. Big Bunny was his name. Big Bunny came bouncing by. I'm moving in here, he said. He dug an enormous burrow and flicked soil overhead. What are you all staring at? Boomed Big Bunny, looking around. He thumped his back foot crossly and dived down underground. Maybe he's just shy, said Owl. It's not easy when you're new. Make Big Bunny welcome, and he'll soon make friends with you. So the field mice invited him to come for cake at four. They heard him bounding down the path and thump on their front door. Big Bunny had terrible manners. He gobbled up all the food. He chomped on the cake and slurped ice cream. He was really very rude. Come swimming with us, said the otters. You'll think it's really cool. All right, said Big Bunny, giggling. But then he farted in the pool. When the baby badgers were napping, Big Bunny shouted, Boo! You naughty bunny, they squealed. We've had enough of you. The animals of Cherry Blossom Forest were upset and a little bit sad. We've tried our best, they said to Owl, but that big bunny is just so bad. Have you ever been in a situation like that? When someone was just rude or mean? What did you do? What do you think the animals should do? It's your turn. Finish the story. Think about how you think it should end. 
You could explore using a picture story or writing it out, and then you can create your own shadow play. And if you just really have to know how the story ends in the book, there's a read aloud at this link. So now, after you finish your version of Big Bad Bunny, if you want to make up your own story, these cards can be the illustrations in your story. They're from a Create a Story deck. And if these were the illustrations in your story, what would your story be about? Figure out your story and then you can make it into a play. We would love to see your stories and your story endings. You can send them to us at education at ctmtheater.org. Thank you.